Imagine a metal so dense that it sinks effortlessly in mercury. So rare, it's scarcely found on the Earth's crust. And so distinctive, it was named after its pungent smell. In the last poll, you chose osmium, a remarkable element with a fascinating story. Welcome to Cube Chemistry, where we will discuss all the elements of the periodic system and also do experiments. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to influence next week's experiment, make sure to fill in the poll. So finally we have something else again than a greyish white metal. What we got here is bluish white and it's also the most dense element on the earth with 22.59 grams per cubic centimeter. So even more dense than lead and it looks quite beautiful to be honest. Also there is not a lot in the cube but that is because it's a very rare element in the universe. Meet osmium, element number 76. Now like always, if you want some of the densest material in a cube or if you want to gift it to somebody, make sure to click on the link in the description and use the promo code. You will be able to buy it with 10% discount and you will also be helping out our channel. So first let's dive into the history of this remarkable element. In 1803, English chemist Smithson Tennant investigated the insoluble black residue left after dissolving platinum ore in aqua regia. And this is a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. While many other chemists dismissed this residue as waste, Tennant suspected that it could contain undiscovered elements. So what he did was he carefully separated and washed the residue, preparing it for further analysis. His approach involved uh, treating the material with various chemical reagents, heating it and observing its behavior under different conditions to isolate its unique components. When Tennant treated part of the residue with strong alkalis, it produced a volatile gas with a sharp pungent odor. This gas was later identified as osmium tetroxide, a highly reactive compound with chlorine-like smell. Recognizing the distinct properties of the substance, Tennant named the source element osmium, derived from the Greek word osme, meaning smell. He further noticed that osmium tetroxide could easily sublime, turning directly into gas at relatively low temperatures, which differentiated it from known substances at the time. Now the remaining residue did not release any volatile gas, but instead formed brightly colored salts when dissolved in acids. Tennant carefully examined these reactions and noted that the colors were unusually vibrant, displaying hues ranging from yellow to blue. Now these observations led him to identify a second new element, which he named iridium, after Irish, the Greek word for rainbow. Through these experiments, Tennant not only isolated and named two new elements, but also demonstrated how careful chemical analysis and methodical experimentation could reveal hidden components in seemingly unremarkable materials. So let's take a look at the properties. Osmium is hard, brittle, bluish white, it's a metal, and it's renowned as the densest natural occurring element with a density of approximately 22.59 grams per cubic centimeter. Now this means that a cube of osmium of about 14.58 uh, centimeters on each side would weigh as much as an adult human of 70 kilos. Now its high melting point around 3033 degrees Celsius and low vapor pressure make it exceptionally stable even at high temperatures. Chemically, osmium exhibits a range of oxidation states from minus 2 to plus 8 with plus 4 and plus 8 being the most common. When exposed to air, powdered osmium forms osmium tetroxide, a highly toxic and volatile compound with a strong odor reflecting the origin of its name. Now, osmium is among the rarest elements in the Earth's crust. With an average abundance of about 50 parts per trillion, it is typically found in alloys with other platinum groups metals such as iridium and platinum. And it's often extracted as a byproduct of nickel and copper mining. Significant sources of osmium include the Bushveld Ingius complex in South Africa, the Sudbury Basin in Canada, and the Norilsk complex in Russia. 
Now the extraction process involves isolating osmium from other metals through a series of chemical reactions, including the formation and reduction of osmium tetroxide. So, what do we use it for? Well, despite its rarity and toxicity of some of its compounds, osmium has found niche applications, primarily due to its hardness and durability. Alloys of osmium, such as osmium meridium, are used in situations where extreme wear and resistance is required. Historically, these alloys were utilized in the tips of fountain pens, providing a durable writing point. They were also employed in the phonograph needles, instrument pivots and electrical contacts. However, the use of osmium in such applications has declined, often replaced by more readily available materials. Now, osmium tetroxide, despite its toxicity, has been valuable in the field of microscopy. It has been used as a staining agent in electron microscopy as it binds to lipids providing contrast to biological samples. Additionally, osmium tetroxide has applications in organic chemistry, particularly in the oxidations of alkynes to glycols. Now, while metallic osmium is relatively inert, its compounds, particularly osmium tetroxide, are highly toxic and require careful handling. Exposure can lead to severe respiratory issues, skin damage and eye irritation. Therefore, strict safety protocols are essential when working with osmium compounds to prevent accidental exposure. From its discovery in the residues of platinum ore to its specialized applications in modern science, osmium's journey is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Its unique properties continue to intrigue scientists and engineers, ensuring that its dense blue-white metal retains its place in the annals of chemistry and material science. And that concludes this week's episode. If you feel we missed something, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel.